the sanctity of life in Islam, protecting ants, bees, hoopoes, and frogs. The prohibition of killing ants, bees, hoopoes, and frogs in Islam is rooted in the principles of compassion, mercy, and respect for all of God's creations. These creatures, though small and often overlooked, play significant roles in the ecosystem and possess intrinsic value as part of the intricate web of life. This video will explore the Islamic teachings that emphasize the sanctity of these creatures, the references from the Quran and Hadith, and their benefits as recognized by modern science. Imagine a world where every living being, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, is valued and protected. This is the vision that Islam promotes through its teachings on the treatment of animals and insects. Islam is a religion that deeply respects and values life in all its forms. The Quran and Hadith provide numerous examples and guidance on how Muslims should treat animals and the environment with kindness and consideration. The prohibition against killing certain creatures, such as ants, bees, hoopoes, and frogs, is a reflection of this ethos. The Quran explicitly mentions the importance of certain creatures. For instance, the story of the ant in Surah An-Naml, the ants, highlights the wisdom and communication skills of ants. In verses 18 and 19, it is narrated that Solomon heard an ant warning its colony about the approaching army. This story not only showcases the intelligence of ants, but also serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living beings. By highlighting the ant's ability to communicate and organize, the Quran acknowledges the significance of even the smallest creatures in God's creation. Similarly, the hoopoe is mentioned in the Quran in the context of the story of Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, Surah an naml verses 20 to 28. The hoopoe played a crucial role in conveying important information to Solomon, demonstrating its value and importance. The inclusion of the hoopoe in this narrative underscores the idea that every creature has a purpose and a role to play in the grand scheme of life. The Hadith the sayings and actions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, further emphasize the importance of treating animals with compassion and care. In Sahih Bukhari, it is narrated that the Prophet forbade the killing of four creatures, ants, bees, hoopoes, and frogs. This prohibition reflects the broader Islamic principle of mercy and respect for all living beings. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said, Whoever kills a sparrow or anything bigger than that without a just cause, Allah will hold him accountable on the day of judgment. Sunan an-Nasai. This hadith highlights the gravity of taking a life, even of a small creature, without a legitimate reason. Modern science has uncovered the critical roles that these creatures play in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Ants, for example, are known as ecosystem engineers. They aerate the soil, decompose organic material, and control pest populations. By creating tunnels in the soil, ants enhance water infiltration and nutrient cycling, which benefits plant growth. Their role in seed dispersal also contributes to the propagation of various plant species. The complex social structures of ant colonies and their ability to work collectively for the greater good are fascinating subjects of study in the field of biology. Bees are indispensable pollinators, crucial for the reproduction of many flowering plants. Approximately one-third of the food we consume relies on pollination by bees. Their decline due to habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change poses a significant threat to global food security. The Quran's acknowledgment of bees in Surah an nahl the bee, emphasizes their importance. Verse 68-69 to states, And your Lord inspired the bee, saying, Take your habitations in the mountains and in the trees and in what they erect, then eat of all fruits and follow the ways of your Lord made easy. There comes forth from their bellies a drink of varying color, wherein is healing for mankind. Verily, in this is indeed a sign for people who think. The Hoopoe 
a bird known for its distinctive crown of feathers, plays a role in pest control by feeding on insects and larvae that are harmful to crops. This natural pest control helps in reducing the reliance on chemical pesticides, promoting a healthier and more sustainable agricultural practice. The Quranic mention of the hoopoe in the context of the story of Solomon highlights its intelligence and usefulness. Frogs are vital indicators of environmental health. Their permeable skin makes them sensitive to changes in their surroundings, and their presence or absence can signal the health of an ecosystem. Frogs also contribute to pest control by feeding on insects, and their larvae help in controlling algae growth in water bodies. The prohibition of killing frogs, as mentioned in the Hadith, aligns with the understanding that their role in the ecosystem is crucial for maintaining balance and biodiversity. The Islamic perspective on the sanctity of life extends to all creatures, recognizing their importance in the natural world. This perspective is in harmony with modern environmental ethics, which advocate for the conservation of biodiversity and the protection of endangered species. By respecting and protecting these creatures, Muslims are upholding the Quranic and prophetic teachings that emphasize mercy, compassion, and the responsible stewardship of the earth. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The earth is green and beautiful, and Allah has appointed you his stewards over it. Sahih Muslim This hadith encapsulates the Islamic view of environmental responsibility. The prohibition against killing certain creatures is not just a rule to be followed, but a reminder of the broader ethical duty to care for all of God's creation. It encourages Muslims to be mindful of their actions and their impact on the environment and the creatures that inhabit it. In conclusion, the prohibition of killing ants, bees, hoopoes, and frogs in Islam is deeply rooted in the principles of compassion, mercy, and respect for all living beings. The Quran and Hadith provide clear guidance on the importance of these creatures and their roles in the ecosystem. Modern science reaffirms the significance of ants, bees, hoopoes, and frogs in maintaining ecological balance and supporting human life. By adhering to these teachings, Muslims are not only following their religious obligations, but also contributing to the preservation of the natural world. This holistic approach to life and the environment is a testament to the wisdom and foresight of Islamic teachings, inspiring us to be more conscious and caring stewards of the earth,